All right, thanks for uh, joining the live stream, or if you're catching this uh, on demand, pretty excited what we've got to introduce today. Um, if you do want to join the conversation, make sure you tag at Juniper Networks, hashtag NFD26, and hashtag AI. So what we're going to run through today, I'll give a little bit of update on the business. Um, and then we've got Sadir and Bob are going to walk you through the latest innovations in our Mist AI journey. Um, and then the, the main course here really is about what we're introducing today, which is our AI-driven campus fabric, which is really all about transforming user, device, and IT experiences. So we've got Sunalini and Abhi, um, Sujit, and then we'll get into some automation. So get your thinking caps on. We've got Jake and Ryan are going to run through some pretty exciting stuff, how you automate the campus. Um, so with that, let me jump into a little bit of update on the business. Um, and what our focus here is at Juniper Mist, it's really all about this, what we call the experience first network. Ultimately, it's about delivering better experiences for users, for devices, you've got a lot more IoT coming into the play as well now, we're seeing. And then the IT experience, which I think frankly is something that a lot of us in the industry have not paid enough attention to, and, and that's really what we're about at Juniper Mist. It's how do we make it easier for you and your teams to manage and run the network? Um, and this is built um, in terms of the portfolio for the enterprise. So we've got AI-driven enterprise, which is what we're here to talk about today. Um, automated WAN for interconnecting your offices, and then our cloud-ready data center, and it's all built on top of our connected security. You've got to secure the devices, the users, apps. And then ultimately, the, the differentiators, it's really about, as I said, delivering a better and assured experience, um, proactive automation and self-driving. I think that is the holy grail that we're, we're moving towards, and we've already got some of that today is self-driving actions where the network finds an issue and can actually resolve it. Um, so the team will walk through some of that. And then really built on a microservices um, cloud platform, giving the agility. So whether it's scaling your network um, or new devices coming out, new apps, how do you actually adapt and deliver the new features as well as support changes in the devices? So that's ultimately what the portfolio is um, built around. Um, if we look at the momentum here, it's been really exciting to see um, across the enterprise, um, over $1.6 billion in enterprise revenue. And these are the numbers we shared uh, recently uh, for uh, wrapping up to Q2. Um, our logo is on the, the miss side, 130% year over year, triple digit order growth. Um, and then in terms of, it's not just the wireless, we're seeing this expand across the Juniper portfolio. So record quarters in both the EX, um, access switching, as well as MIST. So really exciting here to see it span and, and really tie into our client to cloud vision, which is where we have effectively mystified um, the wired, wireless, and AI-driven SD-WAN portfolio. We're now at over a $400 million annualized run rate. Um, <clears throat> some, I mean, customer-wise, we've seen a lot of traction, both from some of the largest Fortune 10 customers um, down to, to smaller customers. Um, so the solution really scales. And I think that's what's been, for me, really exciting is just seeing the scalability and agility of the platform. I mean, the customers we've had, um, check out the juniper.net. Um, you can see the customer success page, some of these case studies. We've got several of these have spoken at our uh, summits as well. Folks like MIT um, have recently presented uh, Macquarie Telecom at our summit. So we've got those on demand. But I think for me, what's what's exciting about this is it's ultimately about helping our customers and, and helping our partners and, and folks like you is how do we actually make the network easier to operate and then deliver a better experience for, for users. 